Some mediators are derived from the cell membrane of cells. These include prostaglandins and leukotrienes. They are derived from arachidonic acid, which is present in cell membrane when the enzyme phospholipase acts on this arachidonic acid. This enzyme, phospholipase, gets activated during inflammation. How? Due to several physical and chemical stimuli. This leads to increased production of prostaglandins and leukotrienes. Prostaglandins are produced by mast cells, macrophages, and endothelial cells. Thromboxane A2 is produced by platelets. Leukotrienes are synthesized by leukocytes and mast cells. Have you noted here that different cells are producing different mediators? Why is it so? The answer to this is, the different cells contain different enzymes. Let us understand this by an example. Endothelium contains the enzyme prostacyclin synthase, so produce prostaglandins. The platelets contain the enzyme thromboxane synthase, and hence produce thromboxane A2. And the leukocytes contain the enzyme lipoxygenase, and so leukotrienes are produced in them. Prostaglandin D2 and prostaglandin E2 cause vasodilation. Prostaglandin I2 causes vasodilation, and inhibition of platelet aggregation. Thromboxane A2 causes vasoconstriction. Have you noted? Thromboxane A2 have effects opposite with that of prostaglandin I2. Is it of any significance? The answer is yes. An imbalance between these two has been implicated in formation of thrombus in coronary and cerebral blood vessels. Now, let us study about actions of leukotrienes. Leukotriene C4, leukotriene D4 and leukotriene E4 cause increased vascular permeability and leukotriene B4 cause chemotaxis. Lipoxins which are also generated from arachidonic acid act to inhibit inflammation.